Under the Willow School families. This is Miss Jackie, and I want to talk to you this week about the festivals in the kindergarten. And then we'll end, after we take a little journey around the sun, we'll end up today with our craft for May Day that is coming. But I thought it might be helpful for you to get a picture of what we do in early childhood kindergartens. And think about it as the journey of the sun through the year and the celebration of the sun. And the young child is like a little sunbeam themselves. They're little beings of light with joy and innocence and wonder everywhere. So these festivals are very connected to the seasons, to the earth, to the light, and they really resonate with the young child because they're just so one with everything, especially everything in nature right now. So the first festival of the school year is the festival of Michaelmas, of St. Michael. And the way that is expressed in an early childhood setting such as this is that in the schoolyard, in our gardens and flower beds all about, I have planted marigolds in the summertime. And in the fall, the children will get a basket and they'll pull all the blossoms off. And then when we get inside, the little petals will be pulled off and put into a big dye pot with a little bit of alum added in there. We stir and stir and we make a lovely dye bath for our white silks that we put in and we sing a little song and dip our silks into the dye bath and hang them on the line. They'll be blowing in the breeze, this beautiful yellow sunny color. And then when it's actually the day of our celebration, St. Michael, we've had puppet plays about St. Michael, we made dragon bread and, and St. Michael represents, um, the seasons are turning a little bit. We're really welcoming fall. And we're seeing just a little hint in the air. We can feel something has changed. The little black crickets are singing their goodbye summer songs. And we just are uh, trying to kindle our inner courage for what's to come, which is these darker, uh, shorter days and less sunlight. So we have a little festival with feats of courage that we challenge ourselves. And we have an obstacle course and we Get our, we put our capes on and we have our courage to crawl into the dragon's den out on our play yard and um, play all kinds of games and have songs and stories around times like that. And then we move into the festival of Martinmas, which is really a welcoming of winter. And by this time, the earth is really waning. It's asleep. It's cold the days are darker and now we really do. That little light that we were beginning to kindle and the courage that we were waking up and, and calling ourselves out for is really needed right now because it is dark and we have to cultivate our little light. And the way that is expressed in a Waldorf kindergarten is to, we make a, a painting and then we fashion that into a lantern that we've cut little windows and stars and hearts into, uh, I mean, stars and moons into. And then we'll walk around the town singing little lantern songs, carrying our little lantern and singing, you know, something like this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. And it's something we do in community all together. So that is the Feast of St. Martin and the festival around there. The next festival we would come to is still a festival of light and of the sun, and it's the festival of Advent, where we're still cultivating the light, and the light is coming back to us at Christmas. It, it comes back and the days gradually begin to get a bit longer. So Advent is a time of becoming and preparing ourselves for this light. And so each week we light a candle and there are all kinds of wonderful tasks to do in the kindergarten to make ourselves ready for the holiday, for the coming of the light, and to just prepare ourselves for what is to come. A little bit of house cleaning, if you will. And then after Advent comes the festival of Easter, where the light is back again, for sure, in a bigger way. And it's also welcoming spring and this time of rebirth and renewal. The Easter eggs that we color are really the symbol of life 
and birth in the spring. The kindergartners um, do a painting and we shape it into an Easter basket that has a, a liner that we have planted our spring wheat. So more science and um, creativity with our painting, watching that wheat grow day by day. We put them in our windowsills, we water them carefully. And then by the time Easter is here, it's lush and green and there's a little egg sitting in there and another few little surprises perhaps. And that has welcomed spring. And now we've journeyed all around today to welcoming in summer with our celebration of May Day. So May Day is May 1st, obviously. And the way Waldorf schools celebrate that is to dance around the maypole, to make May crowns, because spring and the summer is just such a time of uh, rebirth and renewal and for, the earth is fertile and growing and every you can feel the energy it's just is such a growing energy and so I would like to show you today how to make a May crown and I also would offer to you if you feel it's safe and you're socially distancing um, another thing that Waldorf schools do is they take a piece of paper and just fashion it into a cone and maybe put some flowers inside. And you know those twiddle twisties that I showed you how to do several weeks ago? You can put a twiddle twisty and tie it on either side of that little cone basket, and you can hang that on, a, on someone's door. And what a lovely uh, reminder that would be during these times of kind of uncertainty and isolation. So if you feel like you'd like to do that to a neighbor, uh, that might be a lovely surprise. But right now I would like to show you these are beautiful willow branches from our willow tree at under the willow school that I have cut off of our tree. And the first thing you want to do, if you don't have any willow, a weeping willow, curly willow works, and also ivy, you can find some ivy vines that would work. But the first thing that I would do is I'd measure the child's head to see how big I should make it. So that's about the size. And then do you see how I'm just twisting and winding around the little pieces that are sticking out? And now I'm going to take another piece, a willow branch, thank you, willow tree. And I'm just gonna loop it through the center and just wind it round and round. Excuse my snuffly nose, I can tell that it's spring. I'm welcoming in spring too with my snuffy nose. So you can see perhaps that there's a little piece that is sticking out where I, where I ended the last one. So perhaps I wanna start the next one there. And you can make it as lush as you'd like. It doesn't have to be a lot of branches, but it is fun to wind it around and, and get the little leaves hanging down. And if you have any pieces poking up, the beautiful part about willow is it's so flexible and bendable, so you can just wind it round. See how it's coming, it's looking beautiful. I think I'll do one more. Let's see what else. <laughs> it's going everywhere. Winding it round and round. So now I have my beautiful green willow branches wound into a crown. And so now I want to add some beautiful flowers to this crown to celebrate this season. So I have some little pansies here that I'm just going to tuck inside. And you can actually weave the stems of your flowers through your willow branches that you have wound around that will help them stay on. So 
So I'm just going to put a few in the front for these purposes to show you today. And now in the back, where maybe you have some ends poking out, is always a good spot. I'm going to take some ribbon. And I'm going to use two different colors and two different lengths of ribbon. And then I'm going to find the pieces in the back that might be poking out a bit. And also trim them. And I'm going to tie off the end so my ribbon is hanging down the back. It looks so sweet. I'm going to miss seeing all the angelic little children with their flower crowns this year. But this will then be our beautiful little mid crown. And so it's something you can do with your children and you can just dance around in your backyard if you would like, or maybe wear it when you deliver May flowers to your neighbor's door handles, perhaps. So a little early, I would like to say happy May Day. And I will see all of you soon, I hope. Take care. Bye-bye.